Hello, this is Jeff at Battlefish again, and uh, I was trolling around for tarpon and redfish and found this huge school of something. So tell me in the comments what you think they are, and I'll give you a hint, they're not mullet. Yeah, I know, that was a lousy cast net throw, but it didn't really matter. I'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. And also, uh, there's some redfish and some tarpon in this video, so please pay attention. Thanks for watching. So the very top and center of the screen are some redfish that start to appear. Uh, pretty much within casting distance. Yeah, they were moving pretty fast and went right by the boat and uh, were kind of behind the boat by the time I was able to make a cast. And for those of you who might be new to my channel, that's a live scope, a Garmin forward facing sonar live scope in perspective mode. Uh, that's pretty much what I use 100% of the time, even in deeper water. Uh, I like the uh, range and I uh, can see fish come in from a pretty, pretty far distance away and it works really well. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I've got over a dozen videos now using live scope tracking redfish and uh, tarpon and uh, snook for those of you who may be not familiar with my videos I fish mostly from downtown all the way to Green Cove Springs the Shands Bridge uh, most of the time Uh, since Hurricane Debbie passed and dumped all that rain, uh, the redfish in the river sort of disappeared, and now they're coming back. The schools are smaller though, maybe 30, 40 fish uh, in a school, uh, so not as big as they were before in some of my other videos. Yeah, this fish measured uh, just right at 27 inches, and I don't usually keep them um, unless they're well within the 27 inch uh, rule, and uh, this one was right at 27, so we got to be set free. And so here's another school appearing right at the top of the graph there. And uh, we'll see if we can hook up. Now you can see how fast the school is moving and you really gotta lead them sometimes in the direction they're going. Not unlike uh, skeet shooting. I don't know if you noticed, but the first fish was in over 11 feet of water and the second fish is in over 6 feet of water. Uh, it gives you some idea. I'm not anywhere near a dock. Uh, these fish are all out in deep water. And that's where I find 95% uh, of these big redfish. Uh, the rod in, in reel I'm using is a medium fast uh, 
Japan Squadron 3, uh, 7.5 foot. I like the 7.5 foot length. It casts a long distance. That's a uh, 6,000 Saltist Daiwa reel. Uh, I believe that one's got uh, 50 pound Power Pro Slick Braid. I'm using 50 pound mono leader tied with an FG knot and a loop knot to the either Crazy Croaker or Paddle Tail uh, swim bait. Uh, I don't know which one this is uh, on. Uh, but when you throw into these schooling redfish, just about any bait works. Um, and I could horse these fish in and get them in a lot quicker. But one of the things I found out, and some, especially on some of the smaller swim baits, uh, they've actually straightened or bent the hooks on them. Um, redfish are very hardy fighters. This one was uh, 31 inches. Uh, the fuzzy video effect is uh, not intentional. Carpet there was uh, somehow too. moisture got behind the lens there it is. of my GoPro. It. Um, we had gotten caught in a pretty bad rainstorm the day before, so I guess it got a little humid in there. I don't understand how, but uh, anyway, that's why it looks kind of fuzzy. There was a bunch of ladyfish swimming around and the tarpon were chasing them uh, when this one took my bait. So these fish uh, will follow this bait all the way up to the boat and then kind of swim under the boat, but uh, these two actually grabbed it right at the boat. Um, I don't know why they wait so long. That fish was uh, 100 plus pounds easily. It was, uh, had quite the girth on him. You can't really see the scale on the uh, graph there, but uh, that school is over a hundred feet wide. Yeah, the little grunting will give them away. There's a bunch of black drum, juvenile black drum. Hundreds and hundreds of them.
And the St. John's River never ceases to amaze me. Huh. Thanks for watching. <laughs>